Morning folks. We are just walking out of camp. You can see all the tents everywhere. Haven't really seen anyone else moseying along, so I think these are mostly people that are summoning Whitney currently. Um, it's about 7.30. Chap and I are just getting walking. Fireball's a little ahead. Today, we're not sure what we're doing mileage-wise. We can either do this eight point something to the base of Forrester, or we can try to get up and over Forrester. That would be a very long, tough day, but apparently we have some bad weather coming and we do not want to be anywhere near the summit of Forrester during a storm, because it's the highest point on the PCT. Uh, I think we can get around it tomorrow, like if we just start early. Um, so that's definitely an option, but uh, we gotta be smart about it. I slept fucking great last night. After we got back from Coming off Whitney, I took a nap for probably an hour or two hours. Stayed up for a little bit. Talked to uh, my old friend Ollie that I started the hike with. Uh, if you remember me talking about him, uh, he, he now goes by Dagwood. But uh, him and Runaway are still hiking together and it was awesome to see them again. <clears throat> so we chit chatted and then I went back to sleep long before the sun went down. And I slept pretty much straight through the night. So. Got a lot of sleep, I'm feeling much better. Hoping for a good day today, it seems beautiful so far. We do apparently have a couple of stream crossings, uh, bigger than what we've seen thus far. Some, you know, knee to waist deep, depending on how tall you are, so we'll see how that goes. First little crossing, this is an easy one. There's a couple rocks we can hop there. Nothing too sketchy about this. Hopefully you have dry feet on the other side. Had a water crossing a few minutes ago. Fireball was there waiting for us. It wasn't too bad. It just went up to like below, I don't know, my shins or something like that, I would say. We got across uh, with no issues. And it looks like coming up on the third one here. This one's definitely deeper and quicker. So uh, we'll see how this one goes. across the stream no problems we have like three and a half miles to this campsite at the base of Forrester and that'll either be our home for the night or we'll push a really big day up and over Forrester um, I don't know man I'm kind of hoping that we just fucking go for it there's a guy ahead of us who uh, we've we've bounced around with for a number of weeks now um, and he's definitely a more cautious hiker. I think a lot of times we ask him for his opinions on things uh, because we know he's not gonna tell us to do something stupid or give us bad advice. So um, he's actually up ahead and he was gonna try to make it up and over Forrester. But we know that if there's something sketchy, he'll turn back around and camp at the bottom and wait until morning. So. If he's uh, at camp, that'll probably affect our decision. If he's not there, you know, maybe we'll just go ahead and go for it. Because at this rate, we're going to be getting to our potential campsite by like noon. Getting a little sick of these short days. Ready to start putting in the full, full days of hiking again. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> it's really not bad. They can't even talk, dude. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh my gosh, this is cold. <laughs> We all got in the cold ass water. Now we're sitting here for lunch. Um, <clears throat> I think our campsite's what, two miles from here? So just dilly dallying. Cause I think we're probably gonna end up stopping there. What are you doing? If I get struck by lightning, you're supposed to do CPR on me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> I didn't know you were filming. <laughs> Here we are at the last crossing for the day. Camp's over on the other side. And it is Swift. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. All right, we crossed safely. Chap and I kind of came up along here. Crossed like that. It wasn't the greatest. It was up to my knees. I probably wouldn't have felt very comfortable if it was much higher. Um, but we kind of stayed uh, close together and was comforting in that way. Fireball went upstream, found her own way across, uh, but she didn't have uh, she didn't have a much better time than we did. So now we're over here. The campsite is just up ahead. I think this is where we're staying, but we're still trying to figure out plans. Guess we're not staying here at the campsite. We're gonna go another one or two miles, see if we can find something. We just want to get a few more uh, a few more miles in not stop quite so early. Check out our campsite. How often do you get this view from where you sleep? Not very often, even out here. It's crazy. <clears throat> I think we did a little over 10 today, so not the worst, but not the best either. Uh, we just, we know that we're not gonna get any better camping from this point on. So, Forrester's somewhere up that way. I don't know. We can never seem to figure it out. But uh, we're going to plan to wake up like and start hiking at like 5 a.m. Try to get up over the, over the highest point as early as possible. But for right now, I'm going to try to get some of my stuff dried out, my socks and things. And uh, I'm going to get this ramen going because I am hungry. Awesome campsite, but it's freaking Marmot Central out here. There's two more back there. They're running all over these rocks here, right by Fireball's tent. I think this is their home, and we're kind of intruding for the evening. But uh, hopefully, they don't chew through our shit, and we're gonna have to be more careful with our food and everything tonight, so these these fuckers don't get into anything. But uh, we are going to get settled in pretty soon here. Get to bed early so that we can wake up early. I think we're gonna wake up around four, and like I said, start hiking around five. Tomorrow is Forester Pass, and it could be some sketchy shit. Uh, we're hoping a lot of this snow has melted. I think it has, but there's definitely still some snow on these passes. So we'll see how it goes. I will see y'all in the morning. I hope y'all have a good night. I love you, Tony Hawk. He's a good guy. Peace out. Good morning, guys. It is about 4.30. Just finished eating my Pop-Tarts and 
we're going to get ready to pack up and head up Forester Pass. We have 3.1 miles to the high point. That'll be the high point on the PCT. And then we drop down um, in between Forester Pass and Glen Pass. And that's likely where we will camp for the night so that we can do Glen Pass tomorrow morning. All in all, we only really have to do 11 miles. I don't know if we're going to push farther and try to get part way up Glen and uh, sort of do what we did last night. Um, but we'll figure that out when we get there. I have no idea what the conditions are going to be like or how slow we're going to go. Uh, so we'll see. We just had maybe six people with headlights on pass through our camp and we're not going to be far behind them. So I'm going to start getting things wrapped up and I'll check in with you all shortly. See right here. All those other people are starting up. You can kind of see the switchbacks. They go boop, 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 boop. <sighs> Big climb coming up. All right, so far so good this morning. It's starting to warm up a little bit. The sun's out. Uh, we're about to start the actual climb, like the switchback part, uh, to get up to the peak probably like a mile or something up to the top you can kind of see oh well, probably not but there's people up here um so we're kind of gaining on them they're they're moving super slow so i don't know how sketchy it's going to be coming up but uh yeah it doesn't look uh terribly fun <laughs> it looks unsafe but we're gonna fucking do it All right, we are on a dry switchback, at least for the moment. We have the chute coming up, which is going to be the worst part. I think that was the sketchiest thing I've ever done. Butthole was clenched the entire time. <sighs> Had to cut in some footholds. Thankfully, there was a guy ahead of us who was doing a lot of the work. But man, like I didn't slip or anything. I was fine with the spikes on, but... Ooh. You look down, and you're on this little teeny tiny fucking foothold. It's sketchy, man. But what a beautiful morning. Whew. We just fucking sent that, man! Yeah, we did. Here's the chute. Here's the chute! Much easier than the other shit. Did it without my first punch. Oh, man. Yeah, I think that's a point on the big I hope it curves out. What is it? 13505? 13205. Yeah, right? It's like a water slide. Oh, hell yeah! Oh my god! Woo! Bullshit! Yeah! Bullshit! So we're up here at the high point, the Forester Pass. We're at 132. This is the high point of the PCT. <clears throat> that was a sketchy ass climb, man. But we're taking a little snack break up here. And then we're gonna full send Glissade, just like those fellas did. Them guys are flying down there too. <laughs> so, it should be interesting. Hollywood's going at it. Oh, shit. All right, I think we'll 
palisade was fun as hell. We all made it down safely. Now we gotta trudge through some more snow. And I think we end up down there on that little bit, working our way down. Hopefully down isn't quite as sketchy as going up, but it could certainly be worse. A few more people sliding down still. <sighs> Look at that blue water down there. That's a blue that I've never seen in person. I think that's called a Zool in the box of Crayolas. A Zool? Yeah. A Zool. Like A-Z-U-L. Yeah, I know the word. Nate knows that word, don't you, Nate? A Zool. I'm a fool for a Zool. Here's our water source. Grab some dirty water. We're gonna go down here to these rocks and sit and filter for a minute. Stopped in this little spot for a break. We're down sort of below tree line now. We're just kind of exposed at the moment, but a lot of comments saying that there's been bear sightings down here. Let's see if we can find one. Came up to the stream crossing. Fireball just sent it right across where the trail goes. Chap and I looked up, there were a couple of logs that looked like they were able to be crossed, and they can be, but I ain't no fucking gymnast, and it's a high risk activity, I think. So we'll probably just ford it here and have to get wet again. Originally, we talked about camping at the tent site just at the base of Glen before we start the incline. Um, but I think now we're planning to pass by that and try to make it up to Kearsarge Pass. There's a bunch of camping areas up there. Um, so that would put us at like 12 and a half for the day or something. And uh, that'd be pretty good for today all things considered. Everyone said that we would be cutting our mileage in half in the Sierras and I thought that was nonsense but they ain't kidding it's pretty much cut in half. Took a little break back there and that was at the junction to start heading up to Glen Pass and that's where we were going to stop originally, but we're going to try to get like two more miles in. But it's all uphill from here. Just about a camp for the night. Should be like point one up ahead. All right, this is camp for the night. Chaps there, fireballs there, trail is just back here, so we're a little farther away. Hopefully we don't have any white lights shining in our camp bright and early this morning again. But uh, good day, 12.6 miles. Doesn't sound, it does not sound like a lot, but for the shit that we went through today, it is a lot. And it was a long day. We did 12, 12 hours of hiking, and tomorrow is probably going to be the same. I'm going to get dinner going and uh, start getting some shit charged, get ready to start getting settled in for the night. These topos got just about 400 miles on them and 
I'm starting to notice holes on the sides of both of them. And then uh, the tread isn't the best, but I want to try to get a little more out of them, I guess. I was going to get a new pair in Bishop. I thought we had gone over 500 in these already, so that would make me a little happier if I could get at least 500 out of them, but um, yeah, we're not quite there yet. All right, everyone, teepees are brushed, and guess what? It's starting to rain. I'm getting rained on right now. It's like the second time since I've been out here. So I'm gonna go crawl into my tent and uh, get my shit together. Tomorrow is Glen Pass Day. It's gonna be very similar to today, I think. A lot of sketchy shit, probably. Not quite as high, and uh, we don't have as big of a climb in the morning, so that'll be nice. All in all, great day. Everyone stayed safe, and we had fun, even though it was very tough. But I will talk to y'all in the morning. I hope you have a good night. I love you, Prince. See you in the morning, guys.